There were times when I just didn't like my parents. No. Yeah. I didn't like them. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Yasunia. Hey. I actually didn't think I was going to post a video today because it has been a long day. We had church and I went to my mum's after church and I had lunch and dinner there because sometimes people need to be taken care of. I am people. <laughs> anyway, hope you guys are well. Hope you've had a good day. Hope you've had a great week. Hope you're good. Um, I wanted to just kind of touch on something today. I've been thinking about it for a bit and just thought, mm, should I? But I think I will. So, you know, there's been a lot of like different trends on social media where a lot of people share maybe conversations with their parents and, you know, some of it is funny, some of it not so funny. There was one that I remember I watched, it was, I felt so uncomfortable. You know, it's like sometimes you, there is a thing like oversharing on social media and it's becoming a common theme with a lot of people, like especially younger people just oversharing things and I just my question is like ah, this is this going to age well in like 10 years are you going to be okay with this video being out there forever like that's one of the things I think about when I post my videos because I'm just like if I see this video in like 10 20 years later my children are growing up and they see it will I be okay with it because I'm not gonna lie I question that when I see some of these videos, I'm like, you're exposing like a, a, a private conversation with your parents and perhaps, you know, maybe the parent isn't being particularly nice. But the thing about life is that that is that moment, I would like to think. Maybe some parents are just not nice, whatever. But what if it's just that moment and things do get better? That video is out there forever. It's just really not, um, I just don't think it's wisdom. To post those kind of videos um some things are funny yeah whatever la, ha, ha. but some things it's like ah, now wow, people will now start dragging your parents like it's just not it and i see this common theme where it's that um, parents are being dragged essentially or young people coming out to expose their parents or talk about the ill treatment that they've received from their parents and i'm not judging them i'm like if anything i'm just like just saying i'm just urging people to be mindful like because when you see these things it's like okay but what if you then become what if you then get to a better place for your parents and then what so i think about the fact that i remember growing up there were times when i just didn't like my parents no yeah <laughs> i didn't like them i thought that they were unfair in a lot of parts and i'm, I'm sure i'm not the only one i thought and i was thinking that if social media was around when i was younger because how old I am, but whatever. <laughs> if it was around when I was younger, the things I probably would have written that I wrote in my diary, I, when I look back at my diary, here we some I think some people just need to have a diary. <laughs> have a diary. <laughs> Write in your diary first before going to social media because social media has become this public diary. But yeah, I had a diary. I used to just write down how I felt about my parents, how I just couldn't stand them <laughs> about, with certain things. And as I've gotten older, I, you know, this, you know, people always say that when you have your own children, when you have children, you start to understand your parents. Yes and no. I feel like, you know, I just feel like the reality is my parents did their very best and they did what they knew to do, especially because if I think of the fact that they also had parents and they had to go through things to get where they are, I feel like it allows me to give them more grace. I'm not saying that this applies to every parent, but I'm, I think what I'm trying to say is that sometimes things are not as they seem. Like, especially, this is for anybody that has a difficult relationship with their parents. I pray that God will mend it. I pray that God will give you peace. And I pray that God will give you rest in regards to that, because it's a, I feel like it's a very difficult space to be in when you're at odds with your parents because they brought you into this world <laughs> you know we didn't ask they brought us into this world and essentially your parents 
should be your safe space and it's, and I know it's not the same for everyone and and sometimes in some in some cases it can never be and that's and that is the reality but in other cases where there can be a resolution my urge is that you give grace to your parents like my mom now my mom is very outspoken and sometimes she says she, my mom is you know she will say her mind and it may not be in the most pleasant way at times but as I've gotten older and we've had our challenges, trust me, <laughs> trust me. Um, and as I've gotten older, and and I, it's not even as, as I've gotten older. I think as I have, as my relationship with God has grown, He has given me the grace to give grace to my parents because there has been things that have happened or things that I have looked back on and, and I felt disappointed. I felt let down by them and I feel like God has shown me that these two are they're, they're, they're human and they did their best and they loved you and they showed you love in the war, in the way that they knew how to show you love this is how they knew to show love and they did it to their best my dad the same way like I love my dad <laughs> so I loved but I preferred my dad to my mom growing up because my dad is someone that he can you can just would have conversations we'd talk about so many things i always attribute my a lot of my general knowledge and my thirst for knowledge to my dad because he's someone that really encouraged that you know he was big on books like made me and i learned my love i got my love from of reading from him as well and you know my parents are two different very different kinds of people that came together and they had children and they they were young they were young and they did what they knew best. And, but now as an adult, my relationship with my parents is, I'm always gonna be their child. And there are moments when I'd be like, I beg, please, some people should relax. I am a grown woman, <laughs> please respect that. But what I appreciate is the, um, is the room to be able to share my feelings, which I never felt like I had when I was younger. You know, if you people are like, you know, when you're younger, you have African parents, Tell them how you feel. Have your conversations. What is that? <laughs> What's that? Tell them how you don't like this. You don't like this kind of baby. It's like, like, excuse you. Timba, tim, timba. <laughs> I'm joking. But yeah, like you didn't, there wasn't that space or there wasn't that safe space to kind of share how you felt or if you didn't like something. Whereas like my daughter now, she goes, mommy, I didn't like that. You made this joke and I didn't like that. Or you shouted at me. And that really hurt my feelings because, again, as you, as the technology evolves, as information becomes more accessible, I feel like we learn better ways to handle our children as time has gone on. Um, I've shared on here before that I don't believe in beating children. These people should not. I'm not doing. I'm not up for debate on that one. That's my personal opinion and preference. I think when I, because I got beaten when I was younger. And some people be like, oh, they got, they got beaten when they're younger. And that's what helped them. I'm happy for you. In my, um, um, me on the other hand, I don't, I don't agree with that. I think, I feel like the beating that I got, I feel like it affected my self-confidence. And I know that's how, it, that's how it affected me. And I feel like it affects everybody differently. For me, it did. And I, you know, and that's just, again, it is what it is and that, that's that's something that I have taken that I wouldn't do with my children because I know how it impacted me but there are other ways to strongly discipline your child for me without having to beat them um, and I always say that when I grew up and I it would see like especially there were kids in my school that were very well behaved and you knew that they never they didn't even know what a cane was so it's like, and some people be like, ah, some children are still strong-headed. But I, like, as somebody that has worked with children, there's always a root to that. Children just, just they don't just come out and are stubborn and naughty. So it's, they, uh, they emulate what is around them. Also, sometimes, sometimes as a parent as well, you have to really check yourself because you have to think, think about where is this child getting this behavior from? But I digress. My, what I'm actually talking about here is that, is just really giving grace to your parents. If your relationship with them 
wasn't so great yet growing up and you just didn't feel heard even till now maybe as an adult you don't really feel heard um i think that that is something that definitely you have to take to prayer with god like like asking god to just basically just help you to navigate this relationship and to make it better if you desire for it to if you desire it i think it's important to be at peace with your parents i think it's important to have a good relationship with your parents it's not going to be perfect and one of the things i was saying to my sisters today was that the reality is this our parents are not changing <laughs> they're not changing for anybody the only person that will change them is god but at this stage my mom that is like 60 like 60 plus she's not changing she this is who she is and i'm gonna love i've got to love her regardless there's gonna some things i'm not gonna like some things i love with it all in all I love her so I have to I accept all of her yes it's important I feel like as an adult to set boundaries with your parents and be like mom Eli, I don't want this Eli, me fair. this one I don't want I don't like this to be clear about that but also have in mind that these are the parents that I have there would never be a point in my life that by the grace of God that I would share a point of weakness which I feel like a lot of these young people don't understand I say young people like I'm such an old auntie because I'm me too, I'm Gen Z but the people that really like make these videos and share like these conversations with their parents it's a moment in time and and again we forget that as much as our parents can't change but they can learn they can learn different ways we can teach them and I found that as I'm as I'm getting older as as I'm becoming as God is giving me wisdom and granting me the grace, I am teaching my mom like subconsciously how I want to be treated. I like the things that I, how I speak to her, if I don't, how I address things I don't like, and just generally how I am even with Fermi around her and, and what she, and it, she sees it. You know, they say that the gospel and the kingdom and ministry is really very much so how we are less it's less talk and more walk right like if you want to share christ you have to demonstrate christ you have to be like christ so i'm speaking specifically to christians that if you have a difficult relationship with your parents pray about it we all know that famous scripture that is always quoted exodus 20 12 honor your father and mother so that you may live long in the land the lord your god is giving you and sometimes when i think about that scripture especially in times when I'm not too pleased with my parents or in the times when I haven't been too pleased with my parents, I'm just like, oh my God, hey God, but these people are, they, oh, they're making me angry or whatever. I just know that there's a reason why God put that there. First of all, it's not easy. And I feel like God knew, I know that God knew that some of us will have challenging parents, some more challenging than others. And some that maybe not even be very present, which is unfortunate. But ultimately he is our father and i guess that we we can on if we can learn to honor god it will give us the grace to learn to honor our parents it's not because of how we're feeling but it's an instruction it's a commandment that we're given therefore we have to do our very best to follow that commandment but it's also by the grace of god because there will be challenges we're human and we will get frustrated but let us not do things that dishonors them. That's what I'm saying. And I think exposing them at their worst, showing their worst to the world is a dishonor. It's not, it's not honoring them in any way whatsoever. And also it's like, God forbid, you wouldn't want your child to do that to you. Therefore, why do it to them? They're human beings. I know that sometimes the things that they can say and do, it can be really hurtful because I feel like no one, the pain of being hurt by your parent is greater than almost like, than any other. So and you want to share that. And sometimes people feel like sharing that on social media and getting some sort of solace from people like affirming you like, oh, yeah, that parent was wrong. This one, that one. I get it. But let's be honest. Most of these people on social media, they don't care. They don't give a heck. It's the entertainment. They've consumed the entertainment and they're thrown it away. You are the one that will now be left with your parent. And... And, you know, maybe they'll be your parents' friends have seen that. And again, it's, it is a dishonor. You don't, want, you don't want to have that out there. And we just have to be so mindful. Social media is, 
can be a dangerous place too. It's a dangerous place. But yeah, what do you guys think? You know, like, have you guys been seeing it? And what do you think? I would love for you guys to share your opinions in the comment section. And, you know, for anyone that's maybe had maybe a challenging relationship with their parents in the past, and now you're, you guys are doing great, how have you, how did you navigate that? I feel like share that because somebody else may see that and be encouraged. It's so important to encourage one another. But anyway, this video is going to go up late. I don't want to shine on me, but when you see this video, I pray it has blessed you. And yeah, I hope you have a wonderful week ahead. Bye, see you tomorrow. I